Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Commercial UAV Expo 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here talking to Corey Niddle at the Skydio booth. How you doing, Corey? Great. How are you doing, Patrick? I'm doing real good. Anytime I'm around drones, I'm having fun. Now, you guys have got some major news here at Skydio. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so this is the Skydio 2. It's the, one of the most intelligent drones on the planet. It was built from the ground up for autonomy. And so that what that means is it has 360-degree collision avoidance based on... Uh, six total navigational sensors, three on top, three on the bottom to be able to get to use stereo depth to create that full 3D map of everything around it. And it uses that to understand where it is in that environment and then identify subjects of interest, whether that's people or cars and predicting where they're going on the consumer side, as well as fly closer to objects like when you're doing inspection, for example. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, on your website, there's a lot of video of this drone doing a magnificent job of chasing like a mountain biker through a dense forest. But, to, and that's great, I love it. But what do you think about the enterprise side? Because that's where we really need solid drones these days. Yeah, I mean, the mountain biking is certainly really, really exciting um, for some people, but I get really excited about whether that's flying really close to infrastructure, whether that's power lines, because it doesn't have a compass, doesn't get uh, thrown off by those RF issues. Um, whether that's you know pipelines, anything like that, getting close to that infrastructure, getting the shots you need um, to be able to really understand. Okay, is this structural integrity there? And you know we have an integration with Drone Deploy, which allows you to do all the mapping and inspection you do normally um, with the intelligence of full collision avoidance, completing the mission whether the ob the environment has changed or not. Terrific. So all right, so collision avoidance, you cannot beat this drone. But why don't you talk to me about it? Otherwise, quadcopter, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's got 23 minute flight time. A 12 megapixel camera on the front, uh, three, full three axis, and you know you can you can fly it either from your phone on the consumer side. But once you're getting in the enterprise side, there is one in between the beacon, which is a again kind of more on the exciting follow me side. But I'm, and I'm sure people will come up with fun use cases. But the RC controller allows you to get that same manual control you need with your expert pilots, or even what this allows you to do is have you know pilots that don't have tens or hundreds of hours on the sticks be able to get that information you need. Um, and so, like I said, 23 minute flight time really meets or beats all the expectations of what you need for normal specs for the drone, but to get the mission done faster. True. Now, speaking of the controller, I must confess, as a Parrot Anafi owner, that controller does look a little familiar to me. What's going on there? Yeah, so it is the Sky Controller 3, the same one you'd use with the Anafi. Um, it's their hardware and our software, so it's been a really great partnership, I think, for both of us to be able to allow us to focus on what we want in terms of the autonomy side and let them kind of provide a good piece of hardware um, and a good solution for all. Yeah, no, and it's a great controller. I love that controller, so I think you made a good choice. Now, you guys are all manufactured in the United States, right? Yeah, so we uh, manufacture right across the street from our headquarters in Redwood City, California. It really allows us to keep that you know, tight feedback loop to say, okay, how do we continue to improve the manufacturing process, both from prototype all the way through main production. So that's doing all final assembly, all testing, and most importantly, again, all our software is designed and developed and then put onto the, put onto the drone itself right across the street. And so that, what that does is allow us to be really confident on the security side of our drone. Yeah, you can't take that cybersecurity stuff too seriously these days. All right, so one final question. You guys put out a pre-order for these bad boys, ran out in the first 24 hours. I was one of them in the first 24 hours. But so, what's it gonna cost and when are people who aren't me or who aren't my, who aren't my friends who raced to get it in the first day, when can people get their hands on this? Yeah, so you're obviously a quick draw, which is a, which is a good thing. Um, so right now we're accepting pre-orders for $100. The drone itself, what I'm, what what you see right here, uh, that's $9.99 for the drone and the battery. Uh, we sell the additional, um, you know, the controller, the beacon, each of those are $150. Additional accessories uh, priced separately. We'll also be offering a uh, pro kit. So the pro kit is the drone itself, a custom hard shell case, the controller, a tablet mount, uh, four total batteries, a dual battery charger, and a couple other little goodies. All right, outstanding. So anyway, I for one am eagerly looking forward to getting my hands on it and playing with it and making a video about it. Thank you so much for sharing all this info about it. Of course. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Absolutely. So from Commercial UAV Expo 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again. Thank you. Yeah.